up, everybody? It is South Beach Wine and Food Saturday night, and that can mean only one thing. It's time for some tacos and tequila. Let's see what the beach has got to offer. Come on, let's go check it out. There's just something about being in South Beach. You're walking through, you're on the beach. You can smell the tacos in there. You can smell the meat. You smell it, you're like hunting it down. You're hunting it down like the wolf. But I'm here with the Wolf of Tacos. Chef, what's going on? How are you guys? Nice to see you. Nice to meet you. Likewise. Great to be here. Having fun at the, the event, checking out the beach. This meat smells amazing. This is killing me right now to be so close. Oh, yeah, no. And it's on low right now. Like it's on low? I mean, no, no. I mean, <laughs> the heat, I don't mind. It's just, I just want to like... You want to bite it? Oh, you wouldn't be the first. I'll tell you that. <laughs> this is a traditional al pastor. Very regional Mexican. Awesome. Cool. So tell me, tell me what you're doing for the taco tonight. Taco, I'm, I like, I'm a purist, I'm a taco purist. Just a regular uh, nixtamal, maseca mixture, corn tortilla, shaved pork, onion, cilantro, salsa verde, pineapple. Keeping it super simple. Super simple, just super something. Simple. You know, it's just the stuff that the wolves eat, you know, when you're in the mood for a taco. So you gotta tell me, the wolf of tacos, is that like just the nickname? Or? No, 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 it's a lifestyle, for sure. It's a for sure. This is the, the wolf pack over here, and you know. Complete with wolf pack, not yeah, only the course. taco, but we've got the wolf pack going on. Of course, they're extremely loyal. They're, they're amazing people. All right, Jeff, I need you to do me a huge favor. I got you. Hold that one. That's for you. This is for me. Oh, El Pastor is one of my favorites. Got to gotta get the little squeeze of lime on there. Well, Chef, I wish you the best of luck tonight. I Thank appreciate you, guys. you for this. Of course, I can't wait to taste. Clean, simple. <laughs> the hardest thing to do is make a dish that doesn't have a lot to hide behind. Not a lot of extra frou frou stuff, extra sauces. Just really tasty meat. Amazing salsa. Thank and you that so tortilla much. Tortilla is really good. Right? It's it's one of it's my favorite tortilla that I use. That tortilla is amazing, chef. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Have a great time tonight. You too. See you guys around. Absolutely. Time to keep hunting down some more tacos. <laughs> and I gotta find this tequila everybody keeps talking about. So once again, we're at South Beach. Everybody's gotta kick it up, do something just a little bit different. Last night, bologna ice cream. Tonight, it's a taco throwdown, but we got birria ramen. I mean, we're kind of taking two different things and mashing them together, but I'm really into it. I'm really digging it. Yeah. Chef Rich is over here, busy as hell. This Chef Rich is just over here yapping his gums. Uh, so Chef, tell me a little bit about what we're making tonight. We're making birria ramen. Uh, this is a dish that we're putting on the menu. We already have the birria tacos on the menu. Uh, we use uh, beef brisket, which we marinate for 24 hours. We render, we sear it, we braise it. Um, we create this beautiful consomme that's gonna go into the cup with the, with the uh, ramen noodles and some brisket, and then a taco on top to dunk in and enjoy. You know, who needs a cherry on top when you got a taco on top? I mean, you got amazing birria, super nice shredded beef, you got the ramen noodles, so it's like yeah. it's like comfort in a cup, but then you got like that cheesy taco on top. Oh, this is gonna be amazing, I can tell. There you go, man. Oh, all right, chef. I'm not, I know you're busy, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold this guy. I don't even wanna, you wanna hold that one yeah. for me? Check this bad boy out. All right, now, you gotta, you gotta do it proper. You gotta get a good dunk on there before you're gonna bite it. I think we just need to shut down the booth. This is just my table tonight. <laughs> I'm gonna eat all these bad boys by myself. Excellent. Tasty taco. That consomme is amazing because they got that brisket in there. Check out the noodles. Oh, this is steaming. I'm definitely gonna burn the hell out of myself, but already it's worth it. <laughs> it's like the best fusion of ramen, which is one of my all-time favorite foods, and tacos, which is my second favorite food. Putting them all together in one cup. Excellent. Chef, you're a sick, dirty, dirty man. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate all of this. All Thank right. you so much. I'll let you get back to it. Have a good so night. many tacos to try tonight. So yeah, much man. tequila still to drink. Yeah, yeah. Can't wait to come back and check everybody out as we keep going through South Beach. <laughs> Making our way through the tent. Everything smells amazing. <laughs> Gotta go through, though. Next thing you know, I'm coming around the corner. I see Chef Sergio over here, and he's got our amazing looking taco. Chef, tell everybody what you got going on. Uh, we have our Lola Street taco. We have a uh, carne asada with uh, cheese, cilantro, and onions, and we finish it with our uh, tomatillo salsa. Awesome. 
looks just crazy right there. And the best part, I don't know if you guys saw this or not. If you look, that cheese is cooked right into the tortilla. So it's like, it's not like a little like dinky sprinkle of cheese on top. It's just in there, giving you extra texture, flavor, just kind of building that whole thing up. Chef, is this on the menu right now? Yes, it is. Is this your favorite taco? I saw most popular taco, yes. That's also my favorite. Yeah. I mean, come on, you can't go wrong when the chef's telling you it's the most popular and it's his favorite. I gotta trust you. Can you do me a huge favor though? Can you hold that guy? That's for you. This is for me. Make sure you squeeze the line. You gotta squeeze the... Acting like sure. I don't know how to do the taco. Hey, yeah. All right. All right, now I'm gonna forewarn you. I have a tendency to get a little messy, and if this is really tasty, I get a little... I get a little moany. A little ah. All right, you ready? We are ready. I hope you guys are ready. Here we go. Again, the hardest thing to do is a simple, clean, easy taco. The meat has a great sear on it. That cheese gives you that nice little cheesy crust, and it helps keep the tortilla just a little bit softer as well. So as you chew it and eat it, you get like different textures. And the best part, because these are street tacos, those are two-bite tacos. Jeff, that was an amazing couple of bites. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm going to get out of your hair before it gets crazy over here. Somebody keeps telling me there's tequila around here. Yeah, it's almost dead. I'm going to find this tequila. Awesome. Jeff, thank you guys so much. Appreciate it. Thank appreciate you. Appreciate it. All right, everybody. Let's keep tasting our way through the test. Check this out. I can't believe it. We're rolling through the festival. We're checking out all these amazing tacos, seeing everything that's going on. Once again, I'm walking by and I see a sign that says something that stands out to me when we're talking about tacos. One night in Bangkok. Yeah. I'm here with Chef Victor. Chef, tell me what's going on. Where are you from? What are you making tonight? Uh, we're from uh, Washington, D.C. area, Virginia, Maryland. We have Taco Bamba. Uh, we're making a our, our one night in Bangkok taco, which is kind of a uh, street food larb taco with seared shrimp and chorizo. It's a good amount of chilies. Something sweet, something, something, uh, something spicy, real good, real good stuff. All right, so we're talking about something sweet, something spicy. I mean, we'll you're see. talking about me. Can, can you eat spicy? Can I eat spicy? No, no, for real. I love spicy. All right, we'll see. I love spicy. This, I feel like... Is this spicy? Yeah, it's very. I, All right. I feel here's, here's our larb uh, one night in Bangkok, man. It's got basil, it's got mint, cilantro, crispy uh, uh, shallots in it. Give it a shot. And I don't know if anybody else noticed this or not. Not one, but two different kinds of chilies. Yeah, no, it's a bunch of. Them. We, we ain't messing around. There's raw, there's pickled, there's all kinds of stuff in there. Get after it's, it. It's one of those. I'm gonna love this today. I'm gonna curse you out tomorrow. Well, that's what this is about. So let's go. That's why they wouldn't let me look at the back of your shirt. They're like, no, 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 it's gonna be a surprise. You'll see later. Now I, I got the surprise. I'm gonna see right, later. Let's see. Let's see how it goes. All right, chef, give me a favor. That oh, one's for you. It. This one's for me. Can I do the old Tom Green thing when I touch your face? <laughs> Good. I mean, you can, but I gotta get the taco in it first. One night in Bangkok. Enjoy. Let's see how it one, goes. One morning that I'm gonna be regretting, no, but a night I'm gonna be living for it. Are you gonna call out the best taco here? Are you gonna do it later? All right, just let me know when you do the rounds. So it comes through. You're like, all right, it's a taco. I got some shrimp. Then you're gonna wave a trolley coming through. All right, sure. Oh, I got mine clipped to me. Oh, okay. That was right, This is for me. This, this is so I can't splatter on it. I feel like Bob Barker over here. No spaying and neutering your tacos. <laughs> Full fledged taco. It's got so many layers to it. And just when you think you're like, okay, I got like a little taco taste, I got a little chili coming through. All of a sudden you get this second wave of flavor that comes through. Nice. You get like that hint of peanut that's filling in there, a little bit of cilantro. Brother, Jeff, this is stupidly you, good. Thank you. So, this thank is, you so much. This is one of the you rare. I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk away sure. and pretend like I'm like going on to the next booth, but yeah, I'm sure. gonna hang out here for a little bit. I'll have another you guys, one. You guys go ahead. We'll get I'll some more. I'll talk to you later. It's cool. We're, right, uh, we're gonna hang out here. All right, everybody, rolling through. It's tacos. I'm a San Diego boy. I gotta get me a fish taco. And as I'm rolling through, chef's over here. Chef. What, First of all, introduce yourself to everybody. I'm staring at this row of tacos that is just tempting the hell out of me right now. Entirely distracted by what's going on. So, Chef, I'm gonna let you talk about yourself and where you're at, and I'm just gonna stare intently at these tacos. So, we're from Sochi, my name is Rosemary. I'm from Sochi Mexican Tina Grill. 
We have seven locations across South Florida. And what we're serving today is a mahi-mahi taco with garlic cilantro sauce. You can't mess that up. You can't, <laughs> you can't compete with that. And first of all, the fact that like, this is, this is how many tacos I get. Like it's not like one like everybody else. This is how many tacos I'm getting. Chef Rosemary's hooking me up. I'm just kidding, Chef. I don't want to steal all your tacos. Okay. But I will say, if I can steal one of those. Which, which, oh, now, now you got to make me choose which yeah. one? <laughs> all right, I'm going to, I'm going to pick that guy. Okay. That one looks super tasty. All right, now, Chef, I need to ask you a favor. Yeah. You hold that. That's for you. Okay. This is for me. All right, so what's the sauce that's on here again, Chef? Garlic cilantro. It's a garlic, oh, hold on, hold on. It's a garlic cilantro, Ailey? Ah, look at that. <laughs> She's a bad woman. <laughs> Here's the thing, I'm not even a huge fish taco guy. San Diego, we make tons of them. This is an amazing taco because the fish itself, while it's fried, still super moist, flavorful. That sauce is killer on top. It's just a nice, clean, amazing fish taco. And you said, Chef, you have seven locations? We do. Why is everybody else not down here eating all these tacos? I don't know. <laughs> all right, I'll tell you what. I'm going to finish this bad boy, keep checking everything else out. Chef Rosemary, thank you so much. Thank you. This has been killer. So many tacos, so little time. Yeah. All right, everybody, let's keep going. You know I am a man that's all about the pig. All right, we got the pig right here. We got the whole pig. We roasted whole pigs. We did it a, a carnitas style. Carnitas is a, it's a confit of pork, so it's, real, it's, it's cooked very slowly in manteca or fat, lard. When you cook something in its own fat, it tastes fuck. It tastes really delicious. It's, it's why when I'm out in the sun all day, I smell really delicious. Now, wait, hold on. We're getting ahead of ourselves here, Chef. We're talking about the pork, but we're not talking about you. Right. So introduce yourself to everybody. Scott Lindquist. Uh, I, I, I'm a partner and an owner of some restaurants here in Miami, but we have Coyo Taco, which is our number one brand, which we have 13 restaurants. And then we have restaurants at the Moxie Hotel South Beach. That's who we're representing today. We have Serena Rooftop, which is the restaurant that we're cooking for today, but we also have a Mariscaria Como Como, which is a seafood, Mexican seafood restaurant. So we got it all covered. Just like, you know, a little mini empire going on. And the Six. man's out here hacking up pork like it's nothing. Yeah. Like, yeah, you know, I'm the owner, but I just, you know, I chop up the kind on the weekend. I got my corporate weekend. chef Oscar back here. Chef, what's up? See, he's the one that makes it happen on a day to day. I'm the one that drinks tequila in the back. No, that's not true. I, I do that, but I work too. Between you and me, don't worry, nobody's gonna see this part. Yeah. Um, we'll edit this out later. It's, I'm just here for the tequila. And me then they too, told yeah. me there's tacos on top of it, and I'm like, yeah. all right, now I smelled carnitas, and I'm like, we're hitting this man up, because I give, saw give, you hacking give, away. Give me pork, and give me tequila, and I'm good for life. Can I get that as a tattoo or something yeah, like that? Pork and tequila, good for life. Pork and tequila is life. All right, so chef, I gotta ask you to do me a huge yeah. favor. Yeah, yeah. You hold this guy, that one's yeah, for you. Yeah. This one's for me, real quick. Walk us through, what do we got going on? Okay, so we have a, a fresh, fresh ground nixtamal, which is the corn um, that's used to make uh, uh, tortillas. It's cooked with, with uh, cala, which is, is powdered limestone. And, and that's what makes the corn soft enough to grind. We grind it with a stone mill, and then we make the tortillas with blue corn. Uh, the carnitas is what you're looking at right there, the, the whole confit of, of pig. It has a salsa verde cruda, which is a raw tomatillo and serrano chili salsa. Cotija cheese, fresh onions, and, and cilantro on top. That's what we call street taco style. So that's what it is. You know, just a little something you threw together for a street taco. Street taco, it's a street taco. Take a bite, take a bite. Take a bite, are you kidding? I mean, that's the best part about this. Street tacos, smaller tacos. My big mouth, yeah. two little bites. You gotta eat lots of them. I gotta get in on this bad boy. Small tacos, this. but many tacos. I would have pulled it right out of there because that's the best, but you picked one up from the front. I had like, get one, you were doing this. But you should grab a little piece of that right there. That's that's the... There's pork. Throw it on top. There, here, let me do it. Yeah, you're, I don't want I'm gonna make it all up in there. There you go. Now, now Because you know, when you got a pork you taco, how do you make it better? How do you improve on a pork taco you that's put, already you, amazing? You put the skin on top. You add more pork on top. Yeah. Now I gotta go back in for another but You're a wicked man for doing this. I am Mr. wicked, Scott. I am wicked. That's why I gained 25 pounds during COVID. I gained 25 pounds this weekend alone. Yeah, yeah I, I probably did too. I lost a lot of brain cells too. That's the best part of these events, right? 
<laughs> Scott, this taco is amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Oh, what? That, I thought I'm you wanted gonna, your bike back. I mean, I'm going to take that back, too. i got to go talk to everybody else about their right, tacos. Cool. Awesome. But Thank you so much. This is cool. Thank you so I much. i got to get back to work. Thank you, guys. Getting back to my tacos and tequila. You know, you can see so many different kinds of tacos. Okay, I love this. But, you guys, first of all, i got to get my groove on. Ding. Taco flavored kisses. Odd day, baby. I'm walking around, I'm checking it out. I look up at the sign Cheddar Ranch Chicken Tacos. Chef Ruben, tell everybody, introduce yourself to everybody. What's what are you up, making? Everyone? What's going on? Tonight we're doing a Cheddar Ranch Chicken Tacos with a roasted garlic maduro spread inside of them. They got sprinkled on top of it as cilantro crema, fresh pico de gallo, fresh microgreens, and a lot of happiness, bro. You're gonna fall in love. This is insane. Look I at swear this, to God. First of all, Look at the size of this compared to every other taco we have tried tonight. Size doesn't matter. Let's remember that. I mean, let's just remember. I'm not gonna say that because when we're talking about tacos, I got a big mouth. I need, I need Whoa, a lot to film a taco. I'm loving just you saying. already. Just saying. My name's Ruben, baby. I uh, I think I gotta go try this taco over here, everybody. New partner, baby. New partner in charge over here. I awesome. Love it. All right, chef. I'm excited. Time. I need you to do me a favor. You hold that. That's for you. This is for me. Hopefully he falls in love with this taco. The best part about the bigger tortilla, you get like a good roll, you just gotta get, make sure you get that good, good bite. Not that good bite, that good, good bite. Let's see that mouth. A little bit of everything in there. Whoa. Whoa. That mouth was not lying. He was not lying. We're waiting the dead air. The dead air is the bird. The tortilla got stuck to the roof of my mouth. It was like, took such a damn big bite, but insanely tasty bite. Thank you. Thank you so much for it's the love. It's not like, you know, everybody thinks like, oh, you know, like ranch and cheddar, like basic. This is not basic. This is taking all of those cooler flavors and giving it to you in a way. Miami, baby. Whoa, whoa, look, he's almost choking here. He's falling in love. Ranch needs respect, and we're respecting you with this taco. Respect on my name, Chicken baby. Ranch, respect, respect on my name. Ruben. I love you, Chef. This is amazing. Thank, Thank you so you much. much. Have a beautiful Appreciate night, okay? it. Bye. I gotta go respect some more taco. Southeast Wine and Poop, and you be walking around the events, you meet a chef, you start chatting, and already I get to call Chef Monica, Chef Mika. Welcome to Miami, thank you for coming. Miami has been amazing, not only for this killer event, but also all the amazing chefs, you're killing yourself. Thank you, I hope you came hungry, because there's a lot of events up. I am so hungry, <laughs> and I obviously look like I maybe like to eat a taco every so often. How about I hold the microphone and he eats the taco? All right, before you I like get that? into it, I love that, I love that. Nobody does this. And I'll even have napkins waiting for you. It's all about hospitality. Mika is spoiling me over here. All right, so. so this is my Cuban um, pork taco using my grandfather's pork shoulder. It's slow roasted in our homemade mojo sauce with a black bean pico de gallo and a cumin aioli. Cuban aioli. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta keep secrets. You gotta tell me what we got going I can't. on there. My mom's back there, and she, oh. she's spicy. I don't. I, you know what? I know sometimes you start saying the wrong thing. Mom gonna give you a backhand. Yeah. I'm not about mom's to do spicy. that. Well, right, and this is your grandfather's right recipe. My grandfather's. Yeah. So now you know it's gotta be good. Yeah, I can. This can't. is like that family secret, passed down, passed down. But I'm gonna beg her for the recipe for later, and she's gonna <laughs> tell me no. I, the only thing I'll say is that it has a lot of sour orange. So you're gonna get a lot of citrus in that bite. I love this job. <laughs> I love this job. Not a bad gear, y'all. No, that. seriously. I mean, come on. I get to talk to you. And I get some to do I gotta hunt down the tequila. Everybody keeps talking about it. All right, cheers, Jeff. Okay, enjoy. Come over here. How is it? I understand why this is a family secret. This pork is so tender, so flavorful. I really want to know what's in this aioli, though. I'll say it does have a little bit of cumin. Yeah. Definitely getting up. Yeah. Chef, this taco's incredible. Thank Where can you. everybody come and find you? Please, we're gonna be in Coral Gables. Coral Gables, please come check Chef out. Chef, this is awesome. Thank I'm gonna go hunt down tequila, but keep yeah. saying it's here. Bring me some tequila. All right, we'll be back later. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Chef. Awesome. How was it, guys? That was great, thank you.
gotta stand, it's gotta be amazing. This line is not only going down, it's wrapping around, it's going past the bar. So you know people are willing to skip a margarita to come and get a tostada. Chef, you're doing tostadas at a taco festival? First of all, introduce yourself to everybody and then tell them what we got going on. How you doing? My name is Oscar Hernandez. I'm from Tacombi and I'm the master taquero over there. So tonight we're bringing you tostadas. Yes, you're right. But we have everything that comes in a taco, we're using a different form. Uh, organic crispy tortilla, a smooth avocado, some spicy black beans, uh, red, red pickled onions, and queso fresco. So it's basically another version of a taco. All right, I dig it, I dig it. And now is this something that's on the menu? Yeah, it's something that we have on the menu at Takombi. And how popular, like, is it super, I mean, I can tell the line here. Yeah. Everybody's digging it and everything is popular. Yeah. How is it at the restaurant? Everybody liking it? I mean, it's one of the favorites at the restaurant. You think it's gonna be the favorite uh, here tonight? You think you got the best dish? I, I think so. We already served like probably like a thousand already. So no, you, got, you got you got to come back a little bit more. Like I know we got the best one. All right, let's do that again. You know, chef, I'm, chef, you think you got like you know? You think you got the best dish here? I know we have the best one. It is the best one. It's got swag. It's just like I know it. We got this. All right, chef, you got one that I can try? Yeah, absolutely. You have to. I can hold your mic on me. You right, that one's for you. This one's for me. Right? I love that everybody keeps telling me I gotta scream. I know how to do this. Chef. I know, but you know, the the lime is not for decoration. It's for you to make it's it not brighter, to look pretty. delicious. I mean, know? look, this is already pretty enough as it there is. There you go. There you there go. All up in there. There you go. You have dried chili salsa. We have avocados from Mexico. From Mexico is sponsoring us tonight in this. So the heft coming off this. The weight. This poor tortilla is struggling to hold on to all of this amazing flavor. Here's the crunch. Oh, that's a crunch. I don't care. I don't care. It's worth it. Messy and delicious. You know it's going to be good when it's all up in the beard. And I'm like, I'll get that later. It's cool. Yep, this is amazing. So many different flavors. That tortilla. It's like glass shatteringly crispy, but in the best possible way. Because as soon as I took that bite, it like broke in my mouth and it mixed with all the avocado, all that creaminess, the beans, everything in there. Chef, this is an amazing wow. tostada. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Please come back. We're here. This is incredible. I'm going to keep making the rounds, but Chef, we'll come back for another one of these a little bit later. We'll see you around. Awesome. Thank, Thank you, Chef. You. Thank you. Let's keep checking out the best. Taco Hell, South Beach Wine and Food, Tacos and Tequila. There is a line for this booth that is going all the way down to the entrance. You know that everything coming out of here is going to be incredible. Chef Nuno isn't even going to like, I don't keep going. Dude. Hey, keep listen, I'm keeping going, man. I'm just excited to be here, man. And we're banging out these tacos and having fun. I got friends showing up and um, enjoying ourselves, man. I love it. Chef, tell everybody where you're from, what you're doing. Hey, listen, I'm originally from New York, the Bronx, but I've been in Miami quite a while now. I've opened up many different restaurants for other people, and this time, it's for myself. It's called Uptown 66. I got the tattoo right here. I got the logo everywhere we represent it. Uh, we're on 66 and Biscayne Boulevard. On the weekends, we open till 4 in the morning, and things has been good, man. I can't complain. Overnight, up until 4 in the morning on the weekend. You know that that's the spot that everybody is hitting up for that late night taco, Absolutely. including this. Chef, what are you making tonight? All right, so these are, these are called birria tacos, right? So uh, what we do is we uh, we braise beef. Typically, it's done with goat, but we, does, we do ours with beef. We braise it in a, in a broth, and that broth becomes a consomme. We serve that on the side. Uh, we, put, we put four different types of cheese into our taco and put it on the plancha with a little bit of the, that of um, chili fat that we got. And that's it, we sear it and we serve it with the consomme, side of onion, cilantro, lime, bam. I know everybody always talks about like smell of vision and if you could smell this at home, but they just did that drizzle across the hot plancha and that just smell that came up. Oh, 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 oh. Chef, you are a wicked, wicked man. Appreciate it, man. Thank I'm not, you so you know, normally I'm like, that here, you hold this, I hold this. But I'm hiding out back here. I snuck a taco and Chef wasn't looking. Check this bad boy out. Look at that consomme that's in there. It is grilled, it is filled. Four kinds of cheeses in there. 
Hold on. You know, I didn't forget. Got to get the line squeezy on there. It ain't easy doing line squeezies. You got to get that dunk dunk. Absolutely. You know, get it all up in there. Soak up that consomme. Cheers, chef. I know why this line is so long. All right, I know I don't pick favorites. Chef, best taco I ate tonight. Appreciate it, man. I do not get it. Best taco I had tonight. Appreciate it. Thank you so much, man. Four cheeses, four times the love. This has been incredible. I gotta keep making the rounds because somebody keeps telling me that there's tequila around here. I'm gonna go find some chef. I'm gonna bring you some tequila too. Awesome. Thank you guys. Keep doing it. Can I grab a quick stick? You know, I gotta say, this has been a really tough job. It's been really rough. I uh, I know it's been hard for you watching, to watch me eat all of these tacos, but I do this for you. I do it because I care. And I do it because somebody keeps telling me there's tequila around here, and now I gotta go find it. So I'll tell you what, everybody. Tonight, we're gonna keep partying it up. Gotta go get my rest of my tacos down. I gotta go get a whole lot of tequila happening. But check back tomorrow morning. We got brunch going on with another night tomorrow. We're doing the Bacardi Carnival. Make sure you're checking us out here back at the South Beach Wine and Food Festival the rest of the weekend. All right, everybody, let's party. Let's get it.